Hello, doers, and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're exploring AI-powered sentiment analysis in CRM, which is a smart feature that uses natural language processing to detect buyer intent, spot churn risks early, and help you prioritize your sales outreach more effectively. When you're juggling a growing list of leads and incoming messages, it can be hard to tell where to focus first. Some messages show strong interest, others hint at frustration or even hesitation. And if your team misses these subtle cues, it can cost you real opportunities. That's where Odoo's AI sentiment analysis comes in. By automatically scanning the tone and emotion behind each message, your team can cut 70% of time spent skimming new leads manually. They could reach out faster, reducing time to first touch, which leads to a 30% higher conversion rate. And reinvest that safe time into personalized lead nurturing, cutting acquisition costs by upwards of 50%. Essentially, sales managers can use these insights to streamline sales cycles and improve team efficiency. So enough chit chat, let's dive into Odoo and see how it works. So to get started, we need to confirm a few modules that power our AI have been installed. We already know that the AI app is installed because we can see the AI application over here in the top left, but we have a module that we also have to check for. So let's open up the apps application over here and get rid of that apps filter up at the top. And this time I'm going to type in AI underscore fields, and then we're going to hit enter. Okay, while that searches right now, I need to talk about this field right there. Okay, so this module itself allows you to use an AI module on specific fields within the database. We will show how this is implemented later on in the video. All right, now that we have, you know, we've checked this and it's settled, let's actually head back over to our main dashboard and open up the CRM application. All right, let's click on an opportunity. and we can pick something out here. So inside of the CRM app, let's take a look at an opportunity where we have received feedback from the customer. And in that case, I know that the info about services lead happens to be one. So right here, we have this nice little sentiment field. This field has been customized to analyze the lead and provide a vibe check on how the customer is feeling and responding at the moment in the chatter. Before we test it out, let's take a closer look at how we configured this field. So in the top right corner, we have our studio icon. If you don't have the studio app installed, by the way, you can add and update AI fields through the edit form view. However, since we have this studio app, I'm going to use this method instead. So we're going to select it first. And then we're going to click on our sentiment field over here. Okay, so now that we've clicked into it, this has opened up our field properties manager in the left sidebar. So right here that we have is where we happen to have our AI prompt configuration. And we actually have a very detailed prompt in this case. So from the information here, we can see that we want the AI to act as an expert in sentiment analysis, as well as customer communication. And that's pretty useful. So we want them to classify the sentiment of the customer into one of these categories. We are also telling it to include all of this information in the responses so that we can see how it came to the conclusion that it did. This is especially helpful because we want to make sure that we are seeing the reasoning behind the decision. By the way, if you want to use this prompt in your own database and maybe, you know, customize it further to suit your own business needs, I'm going to include a text version in the description for this video. So this information alone is great to tell the AI tool what to look for and how we want it to respond. However, we need to make sure we are telling it, well, where to look. So Right here, we can actually see we are telling AI to look in the section labeled as messages, as you can see right there. And actually, what happens when we do that? Well, when I select this word, I noticed that it actually prompted me to select a field pop up. And it's telling us that the word messages is being used to identify the messages field, which is the technical field name for the chatter. Hmm. So this is how the AI knows where to look thanks to the AI fields module that we mentioned earlier. All right, I'm actually gonna discard this. Don't wanna mess with it right now. Okay, let's actually discard this as well. And this time around, we're gonna close our studio application right there. All right, now back over here to the opportunity. This is a brand new opportunity and no one has contacted the customer yet. Before we reach out, let's test and see how they're feeling about our products. So the sentiment field right now is currently blank. So I'm going to, Click on the AI icon right there. 
And then, look at that, boom. Just a few seconds and we have our rating. And it happens to be positive. And the explanation to back that up. So the AI actually says, the client expresses and appreciates the products and is indicating satisfaction with our product catalog. Hmm. It identifies specific phrases in the message like, I am interested in your company's products. Hmm. And they happen to actually have been impressed by them. That makes me feel pretty good about all of this. You know, since this is a new customer and they are displaying such a positive attitude about our products, this seems like a great opportunity to send to one of our newer salespeople. So we're actually going to change it right now. I don't think we need a nice person like Mitchell Admin doing this. We need a new person, Abigail Peterson, as is usual. So it will easy, it's actually going to be easier for them to test their sales skills on someone who is already so interested in what we have to offer. Let the newbie try this out. Okay. Now let's go back to our pipeline over here using the breadcrumbs. And today they're Wonder Bread. Now let's check out some of the other salespeople and how they're doing with their opportunities. So in the qualified stage over here, let's take a look at this opt from Mark demo. Hmm. All right. So from the looks of it, Mark has an overdue activity over here. So it's probably time to check in with them. It's been about 13 days. So let's see if we can get a read on their most recent communication. Let's just select our AI button just to get us started right there. All right. All right. It is a negative sentiment. Uh oh, it looks like this customer is not happy. We have that negative sentiment rating. As I just said, the AI is calling out the customer as feeling well, mild frustration and concern regarding the lack of responsiveness from the support team. Oh, that's making their experience more difficult. Specifically phrases like, in my case, that they still haven't received an update. Support team hasn't been very responsive, making things harder than they need to be. All right, they're highlighting a lot of troublesome things. At this point, we should probably assign this off to a different salesperson. I don't know why you did that, Mark. I'm going to go with a trusted veteran, Mitchell Admin. Also, I think it's time for us to just add a new activity because... Clearly something is going on right now. And that's so that Mitchell can follow up immediately and make sure that we don't lose the sale. So we're going to set this one as a call and we're going to set the due date as, you know what? Tomorrow. Let's do that. All right. Now that we're done. Perfect. Hopefully with Mitchell handling this, the next message that we get has a much more positive message attached as well. And that's it. You've seen how AI sentiment analysis in Odoo CRM helps you spot hot leads, reduce churn risk, and tailor your outreach without digging through every message. Beyond CRM, this feature adds value across your company. Customer success teams can flag new accounts, showing the early signs of dissatisfaction. And your product team, they can mine negative sentiment for feedback on features that might need improvement. Do you want more ways to use AI inside of Oduo Doers? Well, check out our other tutorials on AI-generated product descriptions or AI support ticket handling. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.